Welcome back to the channel here. Appreciate you guys clicking on the video. We're in nickel 335 wide, and I just want to start this thing off here before we even get into the scheme. I uh, apologize for the uh, last couple weeks here. No content on the channel. Not real inspired to play the game here. Uh, Super Bowl's over. Uh, football's over. Stuff like that. But we're going to try to keep grinding, keep uh, grinding stuff on the channel here. Keep going. Get back into it here. Uh, but we're, we got a question on, on on one of the past videos. Uh, having issues here. Stopping the stretch bubble when it's flipped here. So what I mean, flipping the run to the left here, running it towards the bunch, right? I, what I like to do here whenever uh, we go to these stretch runs and stuff like that, we're in a 3-3-5 wide here. I like the 3-3-5 wide. I go to cover four because, well, and th this actually isn't as great of a cover four. Base line here. Maybe I already did that. Okay, but this isn't as great of a cover four is because this safety right here, Harris, whenever you go run to the left, is not in a run fit. A run to the right, he, or yeah, run to the right, he is in a run fit, but run to the left, unfortunately, he is not in a run fit. So that does hurt a little bit this run defense whenever you go to the 3 3 5 wide. But overall, it's still very, very good to keep the formation contained, um, and so, right, and keep the keep the formation contained where the run is trying to go, right? So it's going to try to make them, what we're trying to do here is use one of, I don't know what in the world's going on, use like Deron Harmon here or this linebacker and kind of push them in, kind of push them uh, back into the zone, into the formation here where we can just kind of fire our gun down and make the tackle, right? So that's what the run looks like. We'll just kind of run this run. Those guys get out. And hopefully you have better defenders too. All right, hopefully you have better defenders. As he did a pretty good job getting outside there. Again, we'll show it to you. I mean, if you want to like go on ahead and press, maybe you have good, some good some good fast corners nowadays in Mutt. Flip that again. All right, you're getting out there. And actually, safety did a good job coming down and, and firing his gun there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to base a line and just kind of run the play. And I'm just going to run the ball. I'm not going to... Uh, Gonna run the ball. Oh, and I didn't flip the run. Oh my, that's that's terrible. That is awful. Let's set up the defense. All right. Pretty much all you're doing is baselining and then usering. So we are taking away the user on this play, but I mean you can see you take them four or five clip. But most people aren't going to continue to do this on you, right? Ah. Uh, Oh, I'm, I'm trying to baseline on the wrong controller. That's the issue around two controllers, right? So, so this is going to be a little bit user dependent, I would say, but that's cool because, I mean, you can always like slant your line to the left or something like that as well. But that's cool because, I mean, I mean, it's pretty easy user play, right? Like there's a pretty easy hole there. You fire it. And, I mean, and then it's baseline here. And then say like they are still getting outside. They, you can always move like Deron Harmon here. You can go click on him. He is just like the next guy, you just go left, right? So it's easy to click on. And you can just move him outside a little bit and then that is going to help contain it even that little bit more. And hopefully you have a faster guy than like a 75 speed linebacker that can, let's go into the replay, let's go into the replay. But this works for, pretty, this is the same for pretty much all stretch runs here. Zoom out. And I mean, you can see, right? You can see where you're supposed to fill, right? right? in that hole but to the behind the right by Tyler Boyd right behind this this guy right here right I'm just not there fast enough because my guy has negative eight speed but in a real world that's where you're trying to make a tackle where I'm diving into the backfield that's where you're trying to make a tackle so we'll try to get there I'm gonna cheat a little bit on this just because I mean that is that Daniel Jones too I mean he's that's actually not too bad in, in terms of speed so I'm just not as fast as your mutt linebackers I'm gonna cheat a little bit try to get there faster Right, I still didn't make the damn tackle, but you get the idea. That's where you're supposed to be. I should have went for a conservative tackle, but you're gonna be able to do this. I'll cheat again, a little bit more. And I'm, so, I'm trying to use two controllers too, which doesn't help. Right, so you're there. That's what you're trying to do. That's what you're trying to do. It's gonna work like that pretty much every single time when you run it towards the bunch. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's run it away from the bunch here, just to show you. Kind of works the same way the other way as well. Same way the other way as well. You just have to read which way the stretch is going and then go get it. Half time. Just want to take a second to remind you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying. I upload every single Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new schemes and ways to make you better at the game. So let's get right back to the video. So let's go ahead and flip. We'll cheat just a little bit so I can make it there because my 
hands are slow and you're firing down, make the tackle. Every time, every single time, every single time, that's what you wanna do. And I got the wrong controller again. <laughs> Old Madden. So I'm gonna try to like, uh, well, this is gonna be a terrible blitz, right? Because I wanna blitz this guy here to, there we go, that, that, that will kind of work. All right, so we're gonna run this, just I'm gonna run it to show you that, because the running back's kind of slow here as well, but I'm just gonna run it. This would be kind of simulating the user. That's what it would look like, right? I understand I put him there and I shot him down, but that's what it's gonna look like, right, with your user. The only difference is instead of your linebacker firing down from here, just straight to the gap, you're gonna be over here, right? They're gonna say hike, and then boom, you're gonna get there. Easy play to make, right? Nothing crazy about that on the user part. And this is gonna work for every, all your stretch runs, right? You're keeping everything in the formation. And the reason this works, well, I don't wanna use this controller to do the replay. And the reason this works, let's zoom out here, is all the, is this is this forced defender right here, right? Like he's getting outside, he's doing a good job of, actually he did a really good job there setting the block and he would have been there to make a play had I not uh, made a tackle in the backfield there. So that's where high pursuit, high block shit, things like that are gonna come into play um, on your Mutt team. Uh, yeah, and you can slow down your slot corner. I believe that is your slot corner as well. So like you can't just put a safety uh, in your depth chart, but once you get into the game, you can physically go in there, sub a guy in, sub whoever you want in uh, for your DBs and things like that. So you can get a Sean Taylor, whoever, whoever is with high block shit and mutt nowadays, you can, you can put him there. And you can see how that kind of works there, right? Everybody just goes down, boom, easy hole for you to fill. And I, I guarantee you do that a couple times, they're not, they're not gonna be running the stretch on you anymore. So, a uh, little bit user-dependent defense, but it's not asking you to do a whole lot, right? You don't need to be a uh, MCS player. You don't need to be super great, right? You're just firing down at the hole, find the running back, hit stick them, make a conservative tackle, whatever it is you need to do. And, and you're just base aligning. That's all you're doing. You're just base aligning. You get there. I mean, there you kind of miss the tackle. There, my guy kind of missed the tackle. I think, I think Harmon, uh, I don't think Harmon put his best ball yeah, I mean, that's, that's not the best tape out there. You know, he shed the block, but did, didn't make the tackle. Not the best tape he put out there. But that's not going to be happening as much when, once you, with your mutt teams and stuff like that, obviously, right? You're getting better players, higher overall players that aren't going to do that as much. But again, I mean, you're having but you're higher, higher run blockers. But in this case, I mean, you're just running against receivers. So it's not as much of a, uh, as much of an issue. But, but yeah, yeah, pretty good run defense here out of uh, three, four, three, three, five, sorry, three, three, five wide. Good thing to keep contained, keep the run contained. Good thing to stop outside runs. That's the main thing here. But you also have this, um, well, you're spreading a bear look, but but uh, if I can get to like an inside run here, right? This is kind of an inside run. We're just base aligning. And you're, yeah, you're kind of like spreading your bear front here. We'll send this guy in motion. I mean, you can see you're still, well, I, I stopped playing, I stopped playing. But you're there to stop that as well. You're there, I mean, you're not really exposed up the middle or just because you're trying to stop the outside, you're not exposed up the middle, right? It's pretty well route and run defense. People like the three three five wide, right? They've been running it all year uh, for the most part. Pretty meta defense, I would have to say. But it, it's a meta defense for a reason, right? And it's, I mean, once this isn't the pressure defense, this or this isn't the pressure video, but you can certainly send pressure out of this, right? Blitz in, uh, things like that different pressures from different areas. Really good all around defense, but the run defense out of it isn't too bad as well for a nickel defense, I'm trying to stop these outside runs. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know what it is you wanna see in the next one. Like I said, having some issues, uh, thinking of videos and what people wanna see here, just because it is the end of the year, I mean, and not everybody just wants to see tip videos in almost March. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Later.